Welcome back. Here we have some of the lights from the Mole Richardson tungsten kits and the Ari tungsten kits. Some of them are Fresnels, some of them are open-faced. Some are different wattages, 650 watts, 150 watts, 350 watts, and even 1,000 watts down at the end. Let's compare intensity of the light when we turn them on. We're gonna start with the Fresnels because they're the same kind of light. Light goes through a lens that has a lot of cut circles on it that can control the light as we spot and flood that to keep the light kind of very clean within its area of lighting. We're gonna compare the different intensities and then compare how we can change intensity of each light by spotting and flooding the light. Let's start with the littlest one. This is the Ari 150. Some people say Ari, some people say Ari. I say get me a blue light. So we're going to turn on the 100. Before I turn it on, I'm going to practice safe D on set by saying striking. So I'm going to turn on my switch. There goes. That is my light. I'm, I can tilt it up and down. I can pan it left and right. I have it at a specific height right now. It is on full spot. That means the light and its reflector is at the furthest position away from the lens. So all of the beams are kind of concentrated and going straight forward into one area. As I flood and move my flood mechanism back, spot flood knob, I'm now pushing the light and the reflector closer to the lens, so it's smushing up against the lens and spreading a little bit more. It has a pretty good spread of about, from 10 feet away, it has a spread of about 10 feet. I'm gonna spot it back up again. You'll see that it changes intensity because the light is concentrated here in that. So not a bad light if I was in a low light situation. That would help a lot on my set and help my story happen, but it only covers about 10 feet of space and it's, we can do better. Let's double the amount of light. Let's turn on a 300 watt light. I'm going to turn this one on, say striking. This is, again, this is a Fresnel light. So I'm just gonna press that light on and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off for a second just so we can see how this light works. I'm going to, it's on full spot right now going to flood that out. Look at how wide this goes. A lot longer, at least another double the amount of light that spread of the other light that went out. So it's, it's spread is bigger because the lens size of the circumference of the lens is better. It's more light because the wattage is double the amount of that. Let's spot that up and compare it to the 150. So striking, as you can see, there's quite a big difference between the, the intensity of the light and then the spread of the light. Pretty good, let's go up even higher. We have a bigger amount of set, more people to light, or we want more intense light. So this is the 650 Fresnel. It's plugged in. I'm gonna reach down and strike this one. Striking. So that's going to be on full spot. Let's take a look by comparison of taking the 150 and the 300 off. Here we go. So you can see it's a really nice bright light with a bigger lens and more wattage. You're going to get a sharper configuration of the beams itself. Now we're gonna start flooding. We're gonna start moving the reflector and the lamp itself closer to the concentric rings of the Fresnel. And we have quite a wide space on that. Let's go ahead and compare the spot area between the 300, the 650, this is the 300 striking, and the 150. So as you can see, they're lined up and you can see the difference. Let's get that little bit there. Pretty good, not bad. I'm going to now compare the 650 Ari to the, to the Mole Richardson one. So I'm gonna turn off this light. You don't say unstriking. Sometimes we say kill that light or save that light because you wanna save the electricity bill. So sometimes you'll hear a DP say save that light and we'll do that. This is the Mole Richardson 650 Fresnel. And I'm going to go ahead and strike that one. 
striking. I'm going to tilt it up so it's on the same area space as the other one. I'm going to take the control knob and put that into full spot. This is an older light. It has an older lamp in it and its glass is getting a little old. But also you're going to see definitely a different configuration of the new type of light. It's more efficient. More light is being put out than this 650. It's about 30% more lumens or more intense amount of light is put out under the new tungsten lights than the old. It's just a matter of better optics and better bulb control. Let's go ahead and flood this one out. Let's look at the spread on that one. Let's compare the spread. I'm at the corner over here. I'm going to open up my barn doors. Let's take a look at this, is, this one's spread. I'm going to use my gloves. It gets hotter. This actually spreads out a little bit wider. If I was to pan from edge to edge, you see that it gets a little bit wider. But the two next to each other on flood, pretty good even amount of light going across. And we could really cover a large area with that. So these are all Fresnel lights that we've been using. They can spot in flood, very well controlled with the glass. Let's, start, let's kill these. Now we're going to turn on the open face light. That light is configured differently. It doesn't have glass and its spot flood is actually the reflector moving forward and back. In a Fresnel light, when you spot the light, you pull the lamp back with its reflector to send the beam straight. In an open face light, when you, when you pull the reflector back, it actually does the opposite. It floods the light out. It gives the light more area to flood out. So it's the opposite of how you would work with a Fresnel light. I'm going to turn on or strike this 650 watt open face light. As you can see, the spread on this is pretty big. And this is in its spot position. Its spot position compared to the 650 Fresnel light is going to be a lot bigger area. That's on full flood with this. Here's the spot area of the Fresnel. As you can see, there's a much bigger circle area of the open face than there is of the Ari uh, Fresnel. So let's put this on flood and see how far it goes out. Pretty big wide area. I have all the area if I go from the psych and open up my barn doors and I'm going to kill the 650 for now. And you can see that open area is pretty wide. The floor, the ceiling, everything else. Much bigger flood area than the 650 watt light. Right, for yucks, let's compare the 650 open face to the 1000 watt open face. I'm gonna turn off the 650 and go over to the biggest light we have, the 1000 watt open faced Mickey, as it's called by Mole Richardson. I'll do this in the dark, but it's gonna get pretty bright pretty easily. So I'm gonna turn this one on, striking. I'm gonna open its barn doors. Spreads pretty good. There's its spot. It's supposedly <clears throat> almost double the amount of the 650 watt open face, but because of the efficiency that this is built, the 650, if we did a light reading, it would almost be exactly the same as the 650 watt light. So let's go over and compare the two of these together. Okay, striking. And we'll go ahead and there's the spot, there's the flood. This is on full spot. This is full spot. This light's a little bit wider on its circumference. It's going to hold, it, it's covering a little bit different area, but 
if, as you can see, the intensity between the two is very close. This has a lot of output for its size, for its wattage. I'm going to flood this one out. Lot, really good even coverage on its flood. It doesn't t tend to have too much of a concentric ring. We're going to flood this guy out. And it tends to lose some of its edges. So there's a nice little comparison between the 650 open face light with the Ari and the 1000. This tends to run a little bit cooler too. It doesn't heat up as much as on, on set. One way to make sure that when you've turned off a light and you want to put it away, these get very hot as we talked about that 80% of its, of its heat, 80% of its energy comes out as heat around the back, is that you put your hand at the back turned up and, and if it's you can keep it there for a while, that means it's cool enough to put away. You never do this because if you touch it, you could burn your fingers. Um, you want to be able to do that. So if it's hot, your hand just goes away from that. And I'm going to turn all the lights on. And we're going to see a big bunch of light going on. Ready? Striking. 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 I have you on? Let's get you on. Okay. Put them all on flood, get a nice area, light my whole psych. This is the chroma key blue psych. I might use this for a chroma key, but I do have spots of light all over the place. When we do our lighting style demonstrations, we're going to use all of these lights and we're going to treat them differently by changing the quality of the light from specular to soft light or diffused light. We're going to change intensity of where the lights are hitting different parts of the subject on the set to create contrast and shadows and highlights. We're going to change direction of the light because that's going to really carve the face a little bit different. We're going to be using grip gear to supplement changing and forming these lights, blocking these lights, spreading the amount of lights together. So lighting is great, but really controlling the lights separately is going to be the grips department. So we're going to be doing that next. So thanks. I'm going to kill all these lights and we'll move on. Killing, saving the lights, saving the wattage.